he met the ball carrier right to the line of scrimmage. I kind of staggered off toward the sideline and he fell again over on the sideline. And then everything went silent. All of a sudden his sweaty, warm hand just went really cold. Let out just a minute and then he just started quivering, you know, just shaking. Shortly everyone started praying because we knew it was really, really bad. And all at once he just went limp. And that was it, you know. He was everybody's golden boy. Star quarterback with a rocket for an arm, but even better at basketball. So we go out to the country and play the country boys, a little pickup game, you know. Well, we wind up at Kenneth Harvey's house. Well, out come this long-legged, all-arms and legs seventh grader. Well, all of a sudden, this little seventh grader started eating us up, tearing us up, you know. He's so good, he plays as an eighth grader on the varsity basketball team. A year later, just a freshman, Kenneth scores 33 points in a playoff game. Then homecoming, a cold November night, 1964, the lights go out. I remember so well the principal coming over the intercom and saying that this morning, uh, so-and-so is going to do the scripture and so-and-so is going to do the prayer and this went on for months. In a coma for three months, eventually Kenneth begins the long, hard road back. I walked five and six days a week. I put a many miles on that bar. But the damage has been done. The gifted athlete has spent his last Friday night under the lights. However, something else has changed. You might think I'd be mad at the good Lord. But I say I thank him for it. Because he woke me up. He put me to serve me him and not myself. He had a little talk that he would give at church and he was always there, he was always smiling, and he was just a blessing to our town. All right, I never go see Kenneth, and I'm sure everybody else, that you don't come away feeling better about the world as a whole and the goodness. When I feel depressed or sorry for myself, I go see Kenneth Harvey. I come away with two emotions, feeling ashamed of myself and another feeling good because he made me feel good. In 2006, friends honored Kenneth with a memorial at the entrance to the football stadium. But that wasn't enough. Now they're producing a Christian movie called Game Changer. Game Changer was the Lord coming into Kenneth's life and him being able to now say that I am quarterbacking for Jesus Christ now. For his inspiration and all the things that he's meant to all of us here in this area is gonna have an impact on the world. Kenneth says all the fuss is embarrassing, but. Some might be talking of the Lord. If they are, give him the honor and praise, not me. True, but Logan Sport wants Kenneth Harvey to know. Heroes don't just play under the lights. He has been an example of Christian love and and, uh, and never said anything negative. And I, I just, I want him to go and witness how much people love him and respect him. And I want to see that while he's alive. I want him to see that.